Let's run the clock, see how quickly we can get this Fox Racing tailgate cover on the back of my Tacoma. All right, here we go. Raise it up a bit, let's see. This is probably the hardest part, getting these through. Make them nice. just over a minute. Still not too bad. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I've had this Fox Racing small sized tailgate cover for about a year now. I've been running it with my new Northrock XC27. It's a Costco mountain bike. Did a full review on that. Awesome value for what you get. This comes with five slots for bikes. So mountain bikes, road bikes, whichever. We have a few different bikes that we usually could do uh, two adult bikes, and then you can probably cram maybe two kid bikes on here with the tonneau cover. If you have a trifold tonneau cover, kind of changes the games on how you load bikes on here. But I've had it for about a year. You can notice something right off the bat. It kind of has a little bit of looseness to it here, and I'll show you that in a second, kind of how the functionality of this is. But after about a year, it's not something you want to leave on your truck all the time, uh, but it's something that's very easy to put on about a minute or so, and you can throw a bunch of bikes on there. But with that tonneau cover, you can only fit maybe a family of four on there. You can kind of cram some more if you need to for kid bikes. But typically, without a tonneau cover, you can run the five bikes, and I've even seen more than that if you don't want to use these little Velcro tie-downs, which have held up very well. Usually, I keep mine right about here, where all the dirt is here, kind of going this way, kind of tilted out. It's just easy. We have some flaps and things like that. So let me show you real close some of the features and talk about what I've learned about these covers, why I use them still, kind of what, what they're good for, what might they not be good for, things like that. Now, the use case for this is actually pretty simple. I mean, it's a nice pad, nice and thick, right there. It lasts quite a bit. I don't have any real cracks or anything like that, no thread issues. The only thing I really have is this right here. You kind of notice this is from leaving it on extended period of time. So uh, for up to maybe a couple of weeks, which is what I usually do if I'm biking like every day for a couple of weeks uh, after work or whatever it is. If I leave this on all the time, you're going to develop this wind drag because the wind's coming on the tail light here, getting in here and catching it. So whether you have bikes on it or not, you're going to have a little bit of warping around these areas. But overall, it's something that's easy to put on in about a minute or so. And what's great about it is you can line a bunch of bikes up, organize it better than just dumping bikes in the back, which A, damages your bikes potentially pretty badly actually, and you could potentially also damage your truck bed. But also, you know, with this, you can line them up, stack them in nice and neat, tires hanging off the side, which I'll show you in a second. And there's various D-rings and locking points in here where you can actually run cable locks and secure your bikes with this on and have a little bit more security and peace of mind than just kind of throwing them in the back of the bed. You have this little flap right here, Velcro. If you want to just leave it closed, it works really well. But what this does is it gives you access to not only your tailgate lever right here, which you will need to get this installed as you saw to kind of get this lower down, tuck those straps in, but it also gives you access at the camera. Now, the camera with this blowing around like this, if you only have a couple of bikes on here that aren't holding this down, of course, if you have bikes in the way, you're gonna be out of luck with the camera anyways. But the camera actually does have an issue in terms of if this is too far over, either direction this wide angle lens is going to be blocked off you'll still get a little bit of visual but you might miss off like this side of where you're driving so actually i've typically would just tuck this in like so and that gives you access to the camera tailgate 
That's the way to go. Now you have your five points right here. These are just kind of guidelines, right? I mean, they're more like guidelines. So you don't really have to line your bikes up to here, but this is where you can wrap this around your tubes of the bike so your front wheel's hanging off and you can have this on there so they don't wiggle around as much. Now with tunnel cover, you kind of have to park bikes at kind of an angle to fit that back tire in because they are standing up straight. But these have held up pretty well, easily replaceable though. You can kind of see this threading here is the important part. These little poles here did not kind of have any kind of wear or problems with them. Hold up great. We've taken the, all the bikes out in the past. Uh, the most I've done is only two adult bikes and two kid bikes, but they work just the same. You can line up more if you'd like. So it's very user friendly and how you can kind of work with this and use it and it helps really to protect your truck bed. Even the top is very thick padding. It's really thick on the front and on the back it's thick as well, but it also stops only a few inches down because you have your tailgate down there and they give you room for the strap. So you don't really need that full coverage protection for the back side of the tailgate. Speaking of straps here, you can kind of see how they work. There are three across, one on each side and one in the middle. You just have to run it from in between the tailgate and your bed, that slot there, run it through here and loop it through here, tie it down, zero issues at all with these. I mean, even with the wind, typically your bed, especially with bikes in it, these aren't gonna flap around that much anyways, but you can always roll these up or tuck them in when you're driving, whatever you wanna do, but no issues with strapping it down and any of these kind of messing up at all. Fox is really good. I mean, it's a well-known brand. I remember back years ago in school and stuff, I mean, it was a really popular brand, Fox Racing. It's kind of the cool brand, right? So they're still around. These are on Amazon. These are the small ones, so this fits the Tacoma perfectly, but I expect them to fit like things like the Colorado, the Ranger, all the smaller kind of trucks, just fine. And I'll be sure to drop a link down below for this exact setup right here. It's right about under $100 right now with like prime shipping on Amazon. So pretty good deal for a very efficient and kind of cost saving way to carry this amount of bikes on a truck. And of course, these come in a bunch of different sizes as well, so you can get a little bit bigger if you have something like an F-150 or any kind of other kind of truck that you wanna make this fit. So definitely versatile for different truck brands out there. I've been rocking this North Rock mountain bike for the better part of the last year, along with this right here to kind of transport it around. Has held up great, no issues at all to report. How you load this up is a little bit different. I mean, you do need to have a little bit of strength. You need to obviously lift it over this edge of the tailgate. So what you do, Take a mountain bike and simply throw it over, tilt the tire, and you kind of see how this works. It's really not that bad, but with that tri-fold in the back there, the back tire rubs a bit. So you can rub it on the edge here, make it squeak there a bit, rub it on the edge, wrap around this tube, rub it over here on this tube, here, here. So you can probably fit Maybe three or four adult bikes in if you really tried it with the tonneau cover, but typically a couple of bikes, a couple of kid bikes, a cooler or whatever, some gear, that'll fit just fine. So let's say you throw it down here nice and low. Let's go ahead and take your strap here, undo that, wrap it around, tie it down, and this isn't going anywhere. So that's kind of how it works and it does a good job. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review on the Fox Racing tailgate cover for the Tacoma, the small size. Again, links down below. Been working with it for about a year now. No issues really. Same with the North Rock. Solid performing mountain bike so far for the price point. You get a lot out for your money in this bike, and I do have a lot of fun just going after work, hitting some trails, and, and this thing works great for either short or long distance trips. So, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions at all, Hit it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. As always, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. really helps me out. Head over to Instagram. Follow me there. Like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next review. I like to stow these away. Cover all the Velcro. Keep them kind of fresh. All the dirt and mud out of there. Yeah, it's really... Really not too bad.